Hey, hey, wizards! Guess what? It is Kieran Ashhammer. I'm back for another exciting episode of the Dual School Wizard 101 Fire and Storm walkthrough. I hope you guys are doing great today. I'm doing excellent. Between episodes, guys, I took a moment, and guess what? I crafted boots. Oh yeah, I went in and I decided, hey, let's do this thing. Let's do it right. So I went ahead and scrapped the brand new Sky Dreamer Brutes. If you look at them, this is what I get. In fact, if you click the um, control button and click on them, you get to see everything up. We go up 2% for our fire um, accuracy, up to 3% for our storm accuracy, up 1% um, for damage for fire, up 8% on resistance for storm. That's awesome. Plus 14, plus 29 on um, block rating on criticals and plus 93 health so very very good this is actually a really nice up nice upgrade in gear it really starts boosting our fire stuff back up and everything which is very nice and um very good also between episodes i took a moment to go ahead and run um atlantis and didn't really get a whole bunch of stuff out of atlantis here let's go ahead and put these boots on there you go uh, they don't quite match the rest of the outfit, but when we get the robe, because the robe's the other one we're going to craft here as soon as we get the recipe, I think it'll be okay. Oh yeah, I think it will be most excellent. I don't think there was anything else to craft. If we look at our recipes, I don't think there are any other things that to craft yet. Um, none of this other stuff looked any... Ooh, kind of... Yeah, we already got that, right? Boom, ba do 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 Yep. Nothing, nothing else exciting other recipes so we got to get to the other guy okay who has the other new recipes and we'll get that but before that we have to go and do some do some stuff guys we have to go ahead and defeat some starfall spiders and collect the spider essence from alto alto so if you remember last episode guys we had a um we had a pro well anyways we went to the we got we finally got to the what do you call that um we finally got down into the temple of mother moon and unfortunately, when we got to the Temple of Mother Moon, um, Morganth was there before us, and she, we had to do like a double boss fight, and it was hard, but we got through it and everything. So now we are trying to get to the last temple, which is up in the floating land, floating islands. So apparently we have to beat a couple of um, Starfall spiders to do this. Yeah, because we got to get some essence. Lady Zen Zen's helping us with that. So boom, boom, that's where we're at. All cut up. I think you guys are all wiser. We got our sharpened blades too, which made life a lot better. I'll tell you that much. Okay, so let's go and load those up. Okay, so what do we want to do today? Well, first, before we go any farther, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's been coming out to streams. We had some great streams on last Monday. And so tonight, when you see this video, Monday night, we'll be streaming again. We hope to hang out with you guys here on some, well, sorry, you're seeing this Sunday. So tomorrow night, Monday, okay, um, we'll be streaming, having some fun, having a good old time, doing some wizarding action. So hopefully you guys will join us for the adventure. Um, and um, if you don't, well, hopefully we'll see us Wednesday night when we do some pirating adventures. Yes, very, very good. Um, by the way, guys, thanks for all the support on the videos. If you've ever shared a like button, a thank you, a subscribe, or mm, my deck is a mess. Or if you have, um, leave me a comment. Thank you so much. By the way, guys, if you support the video at all, leave me, an, uh, leave me your favorite emoji for the engagement. That's awesome, too. I appreciate that. Those are three free ways that you can support the channel, support what we do. And it really encourages me. So thanks. If you take a moment to do that, I appreciate it. If you already do have done that, thank you very much for all your help and support on the channel. I do appreciate it. You guys are fabulous. Nice. Oh, this will sting a little bit. Actually, both those Starfall hits were pretty hard. Good thing my pet is in the game. Otherwise, I would be in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah. I like my Frontier Dragon. He's not bad. He's not bad at all. Ooh. The question is, is, will that do the trick? I don't think that will actually finish him off. With three blades? Here, let's... Better be safe than sorry. Right, guys? Let's go ahead and throw up one more blade. The nice thing with the new sharpen blade, with the new sharpen, we can actually hit a lot harder and um, make these hits really count. Starfall spiders, spiders, creepy, creepy spiders, creepy, creepy, creepy spiders. Let's oh, let's check that. We got another hit in the in the deck. 
Yeah, my deck's gotten a little bloated. I know some of you guys are out there screaming at saying, you need to thin out your deck. You, your deck is bloated. And um, I, used to always, I used to always fill my deck entirely with every spell I could think up to put in there. But I've actually come to understand a thinner deck can be a be can be a better idea in some cases too. So there's there's good good strategies for both. But yeah, thinner decks tend to be a little bit more efficient. Alrighty then, Zen Zen Seven Stars. Let's go talk to the new queen. Come on, let me down. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boy, it's kind of nice to see um, everything so busy up here. Everybody's running around and doing fun stuff. Well done! A small bit of the shadow expunged. Take the spider essence and use it to tear down the web barrier. Let's tear down the web barrier. There we go. Web barrier torn down. Fantastic. Much better. Thank you for your help, magician. I will do what I can to honor my grandfather's memory and rule well. Our ways part here. You'll find your ally, Onyx Rain Sun, by the pedal door. She must be the one to introduce you to the Jaguar lands. Fly true. Excellent. Let's go hang. Let's go hang with our jaguar friend. Fantastic. Can we even go? Okay. So, is there somebody over there? Sorry, guys. I don't. I just noticed that. Is there somebody over there? There might be. I've never actually gone around this. Hey. Anyways. Okay. Let's talk to Onyx Sunrain. Magician. I understand it is time for you to see the floating mountains. Oh yeah. Super excited about this. Use the ritual Yashje taught you to activate the petal door. It will take you to the floating mountains. The Oracle lives there. We need her to guide us to the Pyramid of the Falling Star, the last of the great step pyramids. Beyond the petal door, you will find Okuhaje Mirror Knife, the guardian of the Oracle. You need to win him over before you can see her. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, guys. In two. Ooh. Can I get a picture of this yeah I can into you perform the ritual that Yasche taught you with petal finger gestures some potash and some good old-fashioned watering a moment later the flowers all bloom brightly with a magical glow and there we are guys we are transported now to the floating mountains. Look at this place. It's so cool. So cool. Okay. Let's go find our new friend. Oh, look. A new portal thing. Good. That's always nice. I'll make life better. Ah, mirror knife. Let's go. Ilhia, you have earned your way with difficulty and suffering. You have been sent to consult with the Oracle to find the Pyramid of the Falling Star. You are not the only one searching for the Oracle. There are obstacles to overcome in this journey. Your first is Isla Tormenta. The island was conquered by a Kronosaur, who kidnapped the Storm Quetzals. He cages their power for himself. Defeat Ahuizotl Drowned Dog. Free the Storm Quetzals he captured, and coax them back to the Storm Pillars. They will recharge the storm pillars, which will summon a prismatic blade. Take it, for you will need it later. Boy, that seems a little complicated, but nothing that I haven't that I wouldn't figure out earlier. So hey, let's get going. Don't you love the floating mountains? They are so cool. Okay, so we gotta defeat as was the drowned dog. Okay, drowned dog it is. We just gotta figure out where the drowned dog's uh, he's hiding over here in the well, right? No doubt. Okay, well, let's go and do this thing. Very good, very good, very good. Awesome, it's another week, guys, and things are going swimmingly. Before we know it, we'll be chasing, the, uh, chasing uh, Morganth down and finishing her off. I cannot wait, guys. Cannot wait. Are we underwater? How nice. 
He doesn't look like a drowned dog. He looks like... Well, anyways. Okay. He's Storm. That's Fire. Let's double check our deck. Do we got the appropriate deck spells in there? We do. I think we are ready to do some action. Let's do this thing. Your eyes and teeth are so pretty. Do you mind if I keep them? You know what? It would probably be smart of us, right? Okay. Yeah, since we do have... Let's see here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. It'll be smart. Smart of me. To have a few things to prep us here. Yeah. I almost did this again and went into it without, without really being ready. Okay. Let's take him down, guys. Kronosaur and Aquizotl Drown Dog. Okay. Well, 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 well. I do like the fact that we got a really good um, option right away. Won't be an easy fight, guys, but we're going to do everything we can. Oh, man, he went for the throat right away. What a great pet. He is like on it today. Yeah. Usually he sits back and sleeps and watches gets watches us get defeated once or twice before he decides to um to help out. Well, you know what? Not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, are we? Awesome little pet there. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Did you see what he did there? That's totally terrible. Okay, I want to make sure that we get rid of the other guy, so we're going to do this. Okay, we're about to take a sizable ice hit here. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh my goodness, could, you be, could, us, could we be that lucky? Okay. Let's see if we can get rid of the ice guy. We're not going to use that. Good, good, good. Okay, so with any luck, that negative 40 sucks though. With any luck, we'll be able to get rid of the minion. Okay, there we go. So, now we gotta deal with this brute over here. Tough part about this brute is, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got some, um, He's got some health on him. Did you see that? He had like 19,000 health. That is, um, that's quite the, quite the, the brute thing. Let's get some shields up. Because we got to play defensively if we're going to beat him. Because if he scores the right hits, then we're, we're done. Let's start. Let's start throwing up some blades. Okay, so you know we're gonna go ahead and get rid of some of the meteor strikes for right now, and let's go ahead and do this. Oh, man. Wow, he had some pierce on him, too. Damn. Ouch. And, of course, it takes away the two blades I need to keep. 
Oh, it's so annoying how it always ends up getting the blades you really want to keep. Right? Okay. Well, let's do this. That way those things are ready to go. Let's shield up. Wow, he is just all about getting rid of my shields, isn't he? No, let's do this. Okay, let's let's see what we got here. They're very good. Let's get him prepped. Let's do this. Oh, very good. Okay. He's going to hit us. Let's do this. What? No crit? Oh, well. Okay. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? You know, what this amounts to is I just need to hit him. I need to stop trying to blade up or anything. Terrible. Oh my goodness, that was awful. Good pet, good pet. Okay, let's throw up some fire boost and we'll just start just start hitting them that's all we can do ah ouch So sad I don't have any blades to throw up at the moment. Let's do that. Hmm. 
Hmm, don't want to do that yet. Okay. Let's do this. Because we need to do a big hit. I really don't want to put that blade up and lose it. Okay, we're going to... Pass. Yeah. Gonna reshuffle everything here. There we go. That's gonna give us all our blades back. He's probably going to take our blades away, though. Okay, well... I don't want to throw this up quite yet. You know, he's going to hit us hard. Let's get that in there. Yeah, I saw that coming. Glad I put the second um, shield up. Good, that worked out. And we didn't lose any blades we really needed. Okay. Alrighty. Whatever blades we have in the end, we're going to hit them with. So, hopefully I can get a couple more blades up before he gets... Oh my goodness, he's already has enough pips where he could strike again with that stupid spell. I hate that spell. we got to go for it. Because we might have to nickel and dime it, so we won't get rid of all of our our spells. Okay, well, we'll see. What was he going to do? Yeah, I, I knew it. It's like the only spell he has in his deck. Oh, and it's not going to feel good, too. This is going to hurt a lot. I don't have any shields going up. Ooh. Well, I lost two blades, but... Guess what I can do is I can throw one more up. Here's hoping my pet doesn't leave me hanging. Oh no, he's going to hit me. Oh, that was hard. Okay. Probably won't be enough to finish him off, but we can heal next round, right? Right? Oh, look at it. I mean, that's not bad. That's a pretty good hit. If it would have criticaled, it would have been a great hit. Oh, I don't want to lose this fight. Get a shield up. 
Thank goodness I saw the shield or two left in there. Let's heal up, guys. We don't need that one. Okay, we just gotta start hitting them hard as many times as we can. So, let's do this. Elephant's not going to help us the way it's set right now. Good, okay. If we can do that, if we can get another couple hits like that in. Yep, saw this coming. Here it comes. This is not going to feel good. But the nice thing about him casting Tempest, that clears his pips out. Nice. Very good. Pet has really done well in this fight, guys. Okay, I'm out of stuff. What should I do? What should I do? Should I wait for a pip? Yeah, let's do that. Let's wait for a pip. And? Ah. Uh. What's he going to do? Yeah, this won't feel good. Be a 600, 400, 444? Okay. Not a problem. Let's take him down now. I think we should be able to finish him with the Phoenix. He's still alive. Are you kidding me? Is he still alive? Oh my goodness. The terrible luck. This was close, guys. We we might not have survived this one, but it all worked out in the end, down to our last four spells. Did you guys see that in the deck? Four spells left. Woo! <laughs> yep, 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 that's funny. And look, it's the Ketzels! With the monster defeated, the Storm Ketzels race out to the open air, relishing their freedom. Yay! The Storm Ketzels are free! Very good. Okay, uh, yeah, this is the way out. But unfortunately, guys, that's all the time we have. Oh, my eyes are closed. Bug glitch. This is Kieran Ashhammer for the Dual School Fire and Storm walkthrough. Next episode, we will continue on here in the Floating Mountains. Catch you guys.